Sponsored by the brilliant attorneys at Jensen Law Firm. All right, well, while our heads are up in the clouds with Aaron Rodgers, we welcome Brad back for another <laughs> week and head to space. Absolutely. I have some more information for you on Artemis 1. This is the moon mission that yeah. we followed very carefully beforehand and during. Remember, it launched back on November 16th, came back on December 11th. It was unmanned, but it did go beyond the moon. Had the robots, or not the Cur robots, the... Dummies. <laughs> Dummies with sensors. <laughs> right. Okay. So traveled 1.4 million miles, the farthest any spacecraft that could, could hold a human has ever traveled. Now that that mission is over, NASA says, um, there's a couple of things we want to tell you. Okay. Oh. It was, it was shortly after the launch. We brought you this. This is the same graphic. I just pulled it out of the record. NASA orders press not to photograph launch site after moon mission takes off. What don't they want us to see? Well, NASA has finally told us what they didn't want anybody to see. Did something fall off? Well, much of the launch pad was actually destroyed. Oh. You have to remember that these launch pads were from the Apollo program. Okay. This rocket system is more powerful yes. than an Apollo rocket. And it was more powerful than anybody imagined. So and more was... powerful than the launch pad, apparently. So obviously they're um, making some repairs, okay, <laughs> on the, uh, the launch pad. Also, we brought you this picture when the capsule returned. Remember, I pointed out, hey, there's a Packers fan oh, yeah, at yeah. NASA. Um, but the guys are under there inspecting, I should say girls too, because we're guys and girls, inspecting the heat shield. This is the capsule that would return astronauts right. to Earth. And they found that indeed there were some problems with that heat shield. Okay. It would not have really jeopardized astronauts' lives if there had been astronauts on board, but they found out what it was. The damage was actually caused during takeoff. There was a couple of mountain oh, brackets that okay. actually had sheared from the vibration and had damaged that bottom of the heat shield. But NASA says, it's okay, we know what it is, we're making repairs, we should be good to go when we launch Artemis II, which they announced will be November of 2024. So it's still about a year and a half away, okay? But it Plenty of time to rebuild the launch pad. Correct. <laughs> Roughly a 10-day mission. It'll include four astronauts, three from the U.S., one from Canada. Those and have will... been selected, have they not? They may have. But There's they, a pool of candidates. But they right? aren't going to announce it until April 3rd. Ah, okay. So we'll find out okay. in a couple of weeks who they are. All okay? right. So we'll keep you posted on that. This has been grabbing headlines all over the place. This is from sciencealert.com. Approaching comet predicted to shine brighter than stars in the sky. I actually had some of our viewers contact me because they want to know more about this already. Okay. okay, here's what we know about it. It's a great headline, don't get me yeah. wrong. So it was discovered on January 9th, it will approach the sun. Right now it's still 680 miles away, but it won't make its closest approach to the sun again for a year and a half, September 28, ah. 2024. So it's one of those things where it's a great headline, but you know what? I've been down this road before and I am not holding my breath. We'll wait and see. So which will come first, the Correct. comet or Aaron Rodgers' decision? Hmm. Or we'll death and destruction to the planet. Oh. Asteroid has a small chance of hitting Earth, but it's in 2046. Calling all darts. Right? Calling all darts. Well, and it is from NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office. Okay, so they found this, uh, this asteroid and, you know, running all the calculations, there's a potential impact with Earth on Valentine's Day 2046. Would that make it the kiss of death? I, I'm, oh. I'm not real sure, but uh, odds are one in 560 that it actually would strike the planet. They're saying, hey, no cause for public attention or public concern yet. <laughs> well, in 2046, that's 23 years to even perfect the DART system, which they already know can, and for they the, can hit an asteroid And for the there. rest of us to plan and prepare. I've got one more thing for you. All though. right, I, lay it on me. Look at this. Have you had your fill of snow suddenly? So much of the winter, no snow and all the snow. Since July 1st, now 63.5 inches. And more on the way, by the way, and David will tell you more about that coming up in just a couple of minutes. You could have finished on a good <laughs> note, but you did that. We'll see you tomorrow. Still to come here at 4.30.